Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be working on the Jeep. If you like what you see, fuel cell, water cell, new rack on the Jeep, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I built it. Okay, so in this kit comes a 2x2 square tubing with these holes and that basically takes the two racks and bolts them together through this 2x2 channel tubing and then here's your hole for your hitch pin to go into the receiver but we're not going to be using this part so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. <laughs> box that it comes with it comes with some hardware. Go ahead and open up this box. Show you the contents. Comes in a bag. Okay, so what we'll be using in this bag, we will probably end up using these bolts here. These bolts for the two crossbars that go across. We'll use these, so there's going to be four of those with their washers and nuts and lock washers as well. And then we'll have to run to the hardware store and get some of these, but shorter so we can bolt the ones in the middle. We have the middle section bolted down. We're going to go ahead and bolt up these cross braces. They go across here. And in order to do that, because we, we're not going to use the center 2x2 two two channel uh, tubing, we're going to uh, not be using the original holes and be drilling our holes off center on both sides. So we're going to drill four holes here, or two holes here, and two, two holes back here for a total of four. Okay, guys, so I don't have a vehicle anymore that has this inch and a quarter um, adapter to two inch anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to hack this piece off and I'm going to use the two and a half by two and a half insert with the hole already there. I just got to remove the, the stickers and clean this up so I can weld to it. But this will be a perfect, uh, um, reused item that I can, I can use as far as steel material for this project. And I'll show you where it goes. And so basically what I want to do is just go, I already have holes drilled for an attachment that I made for my bikes. And I can show you that later in the video. But basically it's going to do the same thing. It's going to slip over here and then I will run my hardware right through here. And then the frame and everything will bolt to this. So that makes everything a lot more simpler and uh, I can reuse the steel um, because I no longer have a vehicle that uses the inch and a quarter receiver. So the adapter is just sitting around my garage. Um, so I figured I can just reuse it this way. Okay, so I also have another attachment. This is my little bike rack. It just slips on like that. And then I made this little pin out of eight, I have an eight grade bolt. And basically you'll just take a cotter pin and run a nut on the back side of that bolt and it works amazingly to carry up to three bikes.
okay guys i just set it on and put the pin in so uh it's mounted check out some of the welds it took to uh mount this thing on but other than that i really like it it's level came out really good and uh, pretty thrill thrilled the way that it turned out okay guys we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it some paint a little paint job to match the original color of that frame 2x Crayon black satin. And the rack is done and installed. Just gotta install the water tank and fuel cell. But like I said, just a bolt that uh, runs through this two tube channel on my tire carrier, aftermarket tire carrier. I can swing it way out of the way. could put like a little table here cook food off of this but yeah it swings out pretty good so super excited to uh, use this this year on the trail if you like this uh, rack it's pretty easy to uh, modify like I said for 47 bucks you can't really beat the price on that and it's totally removable. I can pull it on and off anytime. And uh, it will definitely serve a purpose. Go ahead and open up the rack. And it still provides full access to the tailgate and accessories. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, check out some other useful videos that may be helpful to you. Thanks for watching.